Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of all of um, these things just around here and date stamps to look like that. It's nice when you can remove things from family photos um, so they don't get in the way and take away the distractions. Okay, so I've just deleted that layer. I'm going to create three new layers and I'm going to name them uh, clone healing brush okay, I'll keep that one there for now uh, and patch sorry I've, and patch okay it's good to keep them all in separate layers in case you make a mistake um, then you can go back and fix it so I've got the three layers selected, I'm going to press Ctrl and G to group them, and I'm just going to put the um, healing as the fixing. Okay, so what we're going to use is the spot healing, the patch tool, and the clone stamp, which is over here under S. Okay, so let's start with the patch tool first, um, so we can do this area down here. Okay, what I did there, I just press Ctrl plus just to zoom in and then I hold the spacebar just to pan the image. Okay, actually let's use the, the healing brush first just to get rid of the, the lines over there. So you want to try and make it as small as possible um, on the actual place itself. Um, you don't want to I'll show you if I go too big it takes too much detail from around it and you can see it blurring in there okay I'm just going to press ctrl Z just to cancel that off okay so that's coming on quite well now let's just get rid of this part I'm going to use the, the patch tool so you want to draw around as close as you can to the actual item you want to remove. Um, I'll show you why now. So that's selected there. Um, you want to make sure you've got sample all layers selected because obviously we've got this layer over here for the patch tool and the layer we want to adjust is the bottom layer. You want to make sure it's content aware so when you move it I'll show you it's moving all of it with, if you can see there. Okay, let me just undo that. Hold on, Control Z. Structure, um, I seem to use four quite often because it blends in a lot better. And color, I haven't played with that too much, but I always keep it on zero for the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna just do that. Try and find something that's similar. Um, that's what's good about the um, the patch tool. Um, just trying to find similar areas that match. Okay, this is a tricky part. I'll show you here. Um, if I do this and go around here and then drag it across, let's just see. Uh, you see there, you've got Control D to deselect. Still got a bit there, that's a bit ruffled, so let's go to the healing brush and let's just get rid of that. Why is that not doing it? Because there we go. Sorry about that, it was below the patch tool so it wasn't finding where it was supposed to be doing its its thing. So we've got these little bits here. Let's just click those away. See it sorts it out quite, quite nicely. Um, yeah, so let's go back to the patch. Get rid of the zero. These date stamps can be a bit of a pain. 
It doesn't have to be perfect, um, as long as it looks right. See, that doesn't look too bad itself there. And around here. Just to get rid of the one. So you must try and line things up. Um, like if you've got a crease there, try and keep the crease there. Um, and all of that. Okay, we zoom in a bit more. Now this is the tough part. So we want the, the black from the black. Okay, let's see, like that. There we go, that's looking good. It's a bit faded over here, so let's try and do that again. Okay, Control D. And now we want to just fill it in over here with the bag. And drag it to a position. There we go. Control D. Okay, that's looking nice. And we do this part over here. And I'm going to drag it down. Okay, Control D. There we go. So that's that part sorted. And now let's do the number four. If you do make a mistake with this, um, don't worry too much because we're going back and using the healing brush. We're swapping between the different ones just to perfect it a bit. Okay, and you see here the seam's gone a bit funny. So let's use a clone stamp. Let's move that to the top for the moment and push S for the clone stamp. And you want to make it smaller. Okay, so to click to select a source you want to hold down alt and you see it changes like that so that's going to keep that so you hold it down and click and then you can just click down and then keep selecting the source clicking down like that there we go that's not too bad of a job let me just zoom out again control and zero and yep that looks good around this area and now this part is very easy. Let's go back to the healing brush, move that to the top. And let's zoom in a little bit, control and plus. Okay. So now we're just tracing along the lines up to there and tracing down again and tracing along. Okay, so that's that pole moved. I'm just going to click there because that looked like it was part of something. Let's go back to the clone. Should we use a clone or the patch tool? Let's choose. Let's choose the patch tool for this, because I think it will work better. Okay, and let's move it to the left. There we go. Okay, Control D to deselect. If you get a bit of a, a fuzz around the side, you can always go back with the patch tool. I mean, sorry, the healing brush and just fix that up a little bit. Okay. So let's go back to the healing brush and let's sort these guys out. Actually, let's use the patch tool with that for the moment again. Just go in there around him or her, can't really tell. Just trying to line the road up or the path. Okay, just remove these people there. Control D to deselect. If we want, we can move this. Um, let's move it. It and them. There we go. Let's move it to there. Control D. There, that looks great. Let's go back to the healing brush. And spot healing. And let's just tidy up those little spots that are over here. Okay, have I missed anything? I don't think I have, so let's control zero. 
I'm going to just close the group there. So we started off with that and we've ended with that. So that's good, a good way to use these different tools. Um, they can get quite complex. For example, I just want to show you quickly with the patch tool. You don't have to trace around things. Um, like let's say we wanted to move um, let's just move that up quickly let's say we wanted to move that for example and go around if we couldn't get a perfect selection of it let's control D control Z let me just go back one more there so let's say you wanted to just select the dark area and your tracing is not good like mine you just want to use the selection tool and you can select it that way as well oops oh well, let's just use that as an example and then you can choose a patch tool and it works exactly the same okay there we go i hope you like this tutorial um please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and yeah please subscribe i've got many more to come thank you